How is he not worried about burnt? Well, because I get burnt all the time. The purpose of this is to turn unusable iron oxide and tiny pieces of metal into usable large pieces, possibly also combining it with enough carbon to make it into a hardenable high carbon steel. And to have a good time. So this is the very much abridged version of my first iron smelt. I had a really good time, it took about five hours long, people stuck around all day. I'll note that I did do some things wrong, I mentioned that in the building of the furnace, even though the size of it's kind of wonky and all that. So don't take anything you see here as the uh, as a how-to guide. But it was a lot of fun, and if you'd like to see the whole stream, the link is down in the description. What's the next step? For those of you who don't know, we're going to, with that all the way stacked to the top with charcoal, begin layering in ore and charcoal in equal amounts by weight. Because I'm not using traditional ore from the ground. I am using grinder dust, forge scale, the metal that appears on the floor of my shop and has done so for the last, you know, two, three years since I started collecting it. I got like 40 to 50 pounds of the stuff. I did buy a whole lot of charcoal and I sure thought it was gonna be enough. I did the math. It turned out not to be because, again, the shape of my furnace wasn't quite on. It ended up burning too much and you'll see me mess around with the air a bit. That's the container there I'm gonna use to try and keep the proportions of ore and charcoal the same. But I've messed with it a bit because, again, I'm not using a standard ore. So, you know. There's a good chance this is going to fail. Spoiler alert, I get some metal out. And I'll be making another video that shows, you know, the refining process of what I do manage to get out of this. With all the talking I already cut out, there's plenty left to not really do much narration and just let past me speak for himself. So enjoy. Picture in picture. That's kind of weird, but we'll go with it. I don't know. Naming contest. I want to hear votes in the chat. The names I, that I've heard uh, offered so far were, let's see, Calcifer was high up there from Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, I liked Kevin. I don't know why. Um, I also suggested Afi for a fire inside. I have a few fun things here. I have a few, like, uh, this is a piece of uh, Damascus I was making and I just cut the edge off because I had a lot of inclusions. I'm going to toss that in at some point. Some neat pieces of slag, some chisel bits, a bit of 1084, a bit of this, that, and the other thing. But also some bits of Damascus, so there'll be some extra cool stuff in there. One thirty-seven. okay. Looking in the blowhole, I've got a yellow heat. Looks pretty nice. I think I might shift the air in just a bit. Yeah, if it works, it's gonna create a really cool... a really cool uh, pattern too. That's the thing, because it's not gonna be a homogeneous steel. I'm gonna fold it and I'll have inclusions and different concentrations of carbon, carbon and maybe some other minerals. and. It'll have a most amazing etch, I think. Speaking of doing things on the fly, I have the beginnings of Gloom Tongs. They're not actually ready yet. At some point I will have to run into the workshop and weld handles on. Speaking of which, thank you again, Roderick, for making the hammer and tongs ready. And thank you, Gwen and Sam and Sarah and Rachel and Mom and Dad and everybody for coming and helping out as much as you could. You really made the day great. A couple bits of slag from doing plasma cutting it's from one of the major projects I did.
So yesterday I used a shovel, got the uh, hatchet. Ah! Bottle openers. I shouldn't say that, I make bottle openers. They're fancy. There's enough of you here to keep this all going. It makes me really happy. Thank you all for being here and hanging out. Good birthday. All right, 119, we're on 226. I'm gonna prep the next charge. <laughs> Grinder dust, iron shavings from the lathe that I have, why not? Yeah, I know, there's a big crack. It's okay, it's the separation point between the door, mostly. Uh, as long as it doesn't start moving, it's fine. And if it Bennett, if you make me have to actually go on duty as an EMT, I would be really pissed at you. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good, think of a meatball, all right? You cook a meatball, and you get it all crisp on the outside, but it's not crisp on the inside, right? Because the reaction is not just heat, it's actually the carbon monoxide produced by the burning getting to actually touch the surface of all the stuff. It has to be able to get to it. So if it's a big old ball, yeah, the outside might get cooked and the inside might get hot, but it's not all gonna get crispy. I think I broke that metaphor, but maybe that helps explain it. You know, smelts are not done because we can't get iron more efficiently these days. They're done for fun, for meaning. Process matters. How you do something and why you do something matters. I mean, a lot of the videos that you all may or may not have watched of mine have cost me money to do. And no, putting them on YouTube does not recoup me money. Not from the videos. Now, in people seeing my stuff and occasionally commissioning me, yeah, that helps. I have a Patreon, yes. Yeah, said if anyone would like to support my Patreon, that'd be wonderful. It doesn't really get you much other than supporting me. That's all I'm able to do. And, you know, it is very important to me to not become a channel where I'm trying to make my living off of YouTube, which means I end up having to do advertisements where I take your attention away from the subject you're here for to tell you about some other company's stuff that you should buy. It's a very dangerous thing getting me talking about something. I might not stop. My parents have arrived and they have with them or they're supposed to have with them, lemonade ice cream pie. And if that doesn't sound amazing to you, you're wrong. I believe my father has brought the uh, steel chips from his lathe that he has saved in pretzel jars. Why has he saved them? Why was I saving the stuff I saved? I don't know. But now they're useful, so it was worth it. So we've got clay from behind my childhood home. We have shop dust from my shop for two and a half years. It's on my birthday, dust from my father's shop. We've got a lot of magic going on here today.
breaking through at the nose. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's melting a little bit there. It's fine. Run the, oh, you run the smelters page. So you probably, uh, you um, approved me just the other day. Thank you. And welcome. Also, thank you to Mark Green from the uh, Smelters Group on Facebook, who stopped by and helped me out a whole bunch, uh, gave me some tips while I was working. You can see here he told me to try layering the charges, meaning put a little bit of the ore, a little bit of the charcoal, a little bit of the ore, a little bit of the charcoal, each time we add it. You were a big help. Thanks a lot, man. I mean, frankly, even if it's cast iron, if I end up pulling a bloom out of here of any kind, like a coherent mass, I'm going to be happy. It's not two more, it's not three more. I think this is the last charge. Baby, we're all in. We're gonna let that burn down. And we're gonna crack this thing open. 426. Within the window I expected, so I can't be doing everything wrong. piece it's just stuck in the top of the thing I think we have to break it down I don't know how well we'll be able to see but it's stuck up inside the furnace I think there's actually a pretty significant bloom in there up on the stream I will be going through each of the pieces once they're all cooled down and you know making sure we're not throwing away any iron because if it's there I can flatten it out and try and forge weld it together. That so far is what we've been able to sort out. Balance I can't this. See you know hand for scale. Big old piece, big old piece. Those were the two best pieces we pulled out. That's a piece of it that broke off and we were able to flatten down. Based on the sparks that I was able to get at, now that it's probably thrown off by the slag, I would actually say we've made wrought iron, not cast iron. Like, the conditions inside may have burned out all the carbon from the steel. I don't know. We'll find out. I am now, however, 
gonna shut down the stream. Thank you all. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit and uh, probably put the hose on my head. A little overheated. So. Thank you all for watching. I can't think of anything funny to say. But you made my birthday very special. Bye.